Well, today is May 5th. You know what that means, right? It's National Hoagie Day and Revenge of the 5th because yesterday was May 4th. Shouts to Star Wars. But I'm, I'm bearing the lead here a little bit. It's also Cinco de Mayo. And contrary to popular belief, Cinco de Mayo doesn't mark Mexican independence. That's celebrated on September 16th. Instead, it's meant to commemorate the Battle of Puebla, which was fought between the Mexican and French armies in 1862. And it's actually even considered a minor event in Mexico's history. That according to AP. Yet Cinco de Mayo's legacy still lives on today, especially in the United States. More and more Americans, regardless of their ethnic heritage, are taking part in festivities. So if it's not a big deal, how did it become so big? For almost a century, few people in the U.S. celebrated. The AP says the holiday didn't become popular in the U.S. until the civil rights movement. Mexican Americans used the day as a source of pride. Companies started commercializing it in the 1980s, as they tend to do, especially beer companies that tried to get people to celebrate with Coronas, Bud Light, and Dos Equis, that according to the AP. Today, people celebrate by buying piñatas, sombreros, and costumes that some say veer towards the offensive. And even though a lot of people celebrate Cinco de Mayo, it turns out few of them know what the holiday commemorates. One survey found that only 10% of Americans could describe the holiday's origins. Make sure you celebrate responsibly.